Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Linda Group recently invested in a new 200 million rand air separation unit at its Afrox Pretoria West site as part of a three-year 1.5 billion rand investment program, which aims to boost customer service levels as well as support the company's growth strategy in South Africa and emerging sub-Saharan African markets. Joanne Taylor reports. The ASU plant produces high-purity oxygen, nitrogen and argon to service the merchant and medical markets in the bulk business area in South Africa and neighbouring countries. Owing to market changes in 1999, Afrox discontinued the supply of oxygen and nitrogen and operated one of its two 750-tonne-a-day ASUs at its Pretoria West facility in maximum turndown mode. Afrox took the opportunity to replace the existing plant with more modern and efficient technology by installing the new 250 tonne a day ASU. The facility is remotely controlled from a global operations facility in the UK to ensure optimal outputs. We've looked at uh, our portfolio, we've looked at the opportunities, we've looked at uh, abs absolutely what our capabilities are and we underinvested for many years. So. One, it's a catch-up, and two, it's positioning ourselves to take advantage of what we see as future opportunities, not only in South Africa, but the rest of emerging Africa. This new AC in Pretoria, its capacity is 250 tonnes a day, and it cost us just under 200 million. Part of what we've looked at, South Africa and Afrox is unique in we manufacture welding products uh, and, and welding rods, and we taking that and turning it from being a distribution arm from Afrox into a manufacturing facility, an OEM, which we will supply products not only for South Africa through Afrox, but through the Linda Group globally. So it's putting more focus on the manufacturing. And one unique thing is we do have good R&D capability. So we're going to design new products, which we will uh, sell globally. So it's that R&D capability which we've had, which we'll better utilize going forward. Other news making headlines this week. Reserve Bank Governor Jill Marcus says South African trade is still recovering after being dragged down by the world economy and mine strikes. And SAA moves on its fleet and network overhaul as a turnaround custodian is confirmed. Despite a marked improvement in South Africa's terms of trade since 2010, the country's exports has seen a slow recovery, weighed down by lagging global recovery and widespread stoppages in the mining sector, says South African Reserve Bank Governor Jill Marcus. The current account of the balance of payments widened significantly in 2012 when it measured 6.3%. A disturbing aspect of recent trends has been the weak recovery of South Africa's exports, despite a marked improvement in our terms of trade since 2010. Part of this has been due to the slow global recovery, but this is not the whole story, as South Africa's export performance has lagged that of its emerging economy peers, who have faced the same global environment. Slow export growth was also an outcome of the widespread stoppages in the mining sector last year, which adversely affected the export performance of our main source of exports. But non-mining exports have also underperformed, and we need to learn more of the, from the experience of countries such as Germany as to how to improve competitiveness under adverse circumstances. South African Airways CEO designate Monwabisi Kalawe will be expected to become the custodian of the troubled national carrier's long-term turnaround strategy when he takes over in the coming weeks, including those elements of the plan that are already being implemented, such as a network overhaul and a refleeting plan. I am pleased to announce that Cabinet has appointed, has approved the appointment of Mr. Munwabisi Kalawe as the CEO designate of SAA. Mr. Kalawe therefore brings with him experience in both the public and private, extensive experience in both the public and private sectors, strong capabilities in business management and leadership which is what we need at this present stage at South African Airways. 
That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.